here to talk about the Reality Works award-winning adult nursing mannequin. The simulator can be used in common classes, including basic nursing and certified nursing assistant. This life-sized mannequin also meets current American Heart Association CPR guidelines. It includes a feedback device that provides directed, specific, real-time coaching on the rate and depth of chest compressions. So what all comes with the simulator? Well, we have our life-size adult nursing mannequin, the controller for the CPR, interchangeable male and female genitalia, our fast fluid management system for use for, with IV insertion, a 22 gauge one inch syringe and needle for use for the intramuscular injections, an IV start kit, saline lock with extension, a butterfly needle that's 22 gauges and a standard 24 gauge IV needle. We also have the blood powder so you can make the blood for the fast fluid management system. We also have pajamas for the mannequin and also a replacement arm skin for use with the IV start area. The mannequin also includes a one year limited warranty and all this includes curriculum. Today I'll be going over CPR and the controller, IV insertions with our fast fluid management system, and also ostomy care. Now I'm gonna explain how to do CPR on our adult nursing mannequin. So some of the features that the mannequin has is that the chin is able to tilt back for a jaw lift. And also when you take breaths, the chest will rise and fall. When doing compressions, you'll have the opportunity to look at the monitor and see if you are doing correct rate or correct depth. So let's take a look at the controller. As you can see here, there are practice and test modes. If I practice, it'll say the compression rate and the depth. So I'm gonna do some compressions so you can see how it records onto the monitor. And remember, you want to get a compression rate of between 100 and 120. And the depth should be in the green range. Just a reminder that the mannequin measures um, compressions in depth, but it does not measure the breathing component. So if you are doing the uh, 30 compressions with two breaths uh, type of CPR, please realize that the controller will only give you the compression and depth feedback. Now let's take a look at the test compression mode. It'll count down. So it's going to test me on the amount of compressions I do, the rate, and the depth for one minute. And then you can see your test results. So you can see the rate, the depth, and I can also retake my test. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to insert an IV on our adult nursing mannequin. First, you're going to have to prime and connect and prime your fast fluid management system. So what I've done already is I've connected it to the two tubes that are in the arm. You're going to open up both areas. And use the plunger to prime the mannequin. So as you notice here, all the tubing is basically primed with the blood that we'll be using. And so then you can go ahead and um, prepare to insert your IV. Like I said, the kit comes with an IV start kit and a standard 24 gauge needle. We can palpate the veins that are located on the arm. There's also palpable veins basically on the inside of the arm as well. The skin, once again, is removable for easy cleaning. And after you've identified the location of where you're going to place your IV, you to place the tourniquet. Once again, locate that vein. 
clean the area off with chloropep. We do not recommend betadine because it may skin, uh, stain the skin. I do have my extension here that has been pre-primed. And you can see right here, you do you will get flashback. And at that point, you can proceed to insert the catheter and then prime it. In your IV kit, there will be And that's how easy it is to put an IV in our adult nursing mannequin. The adult nursing mannequin can also have students learn about ostomy care. They are able to take a look at the different stomas and assess the skin around the stomas as well as the stoma itself. They can do basic uh, cleansing of the stoma. And we also can use the adult nursing mannequin to place the wafers. So for example, you can take the wafer guide, you can determine the size of the ostomy stoma, place that on your ostomy bag, use a pen to trace the opening. and then use a scissors to cut the wafer. Place it around the stoma. The students can also practice opening and closing the bags as well. Um, and the technique of applying the bag can be evaluated by instructors. The adult nursing mannequin does over 20 different cares, and I just demonstrated three of them. As I mentioned earlier, this mannequin comes with a curriculum that is over six to eight hours long um, of teaching time. It includes presentation slides, student activities, as well as pre and post assessments. The curriculum includes basic bathing, catheterization, intradermal, intramuscular, IV administration, an insertion, ostomy, phlebotomy, pressure injuries, and range of motion. One reason this mannequin stands out from others is that it is medium fidelity, and like I said, over 20 some different skills. It teaches a lot of basics at a great price, so you could have a couple in your class if needed. As you can see how this all fits together, you're using the lessons to teach foundational knowledge, and then using that knowledge by practicing the skills on the mannequin. If you have any questions or would like to receive more information, please use the information on the screen and we'd be happy to help you.